Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acid here again with you for another video and today we are going to be starting this new series that I came up with with my buddy which is going to be spawn sniping series related to search and destroy. So I'm going to go over the map hunted here in this first episode and I will show you guys in private match these little spawn snipes that we found that you guys can go and get some extra kills and then using a few of them I did get them online so I have some actual in action gameplay with these spawn snipes but not for all of them unfortunately but we're gonna start it off here on hunted so we're gonna start off with the defending side so there's four spots as labeled here on screen and basically I have them labeled from easiest to hardest so starting with number one is the easiest moving on to number four being the hardest so right here just to start though we have kind of an extra spawn snipe now I don't, I'm not gonna really put too many of these ones in here that are just like too easy to do you know for this one you're just going to go into this big window and then you kind of have this line of sight and obviously it's just kind of up to luck and uh, who shoots first. So this first spot here you're going to come off the spawn and instead of going inside there you're going to go on the railing right there for the stairs and watch that spawn snipe for the enemies coming down the staircase over there. So now in here you'll see that I have an in action gameplay I was just playing some uh, some search and destroy using the locust here and then it's a little bit slower actually when it actually happens but as you can see he comes down the stairs I get the kill and pick up the nice long shot for the camo so moving on to the second spot going to be our second hardest so you're gonna go off towards this right side right off the spawn and then you're gonna do a wall run over here and then you're gonna move and there's gonna be actually three lines of sight for this sniping position you're gonna have your first one here right on the stairs and then you're going to have your second one, just in case that guy's a little fast, goes on the wall run. And then the third one will be in that big window, as you'll see here in this in-action gameplay. So I come off the wall run <laughs> using my trusty old CUDA. Um, I'm going to pull out the Locust. And uh, unfortunately, I do miss. But like I said, it's going to be a little bit slower in actual game. But you kind of get the idea. I'm going to hang out here. And then I see him in the window. Like I said, I miss. And then I pick up a nice little wall bang there for you guys. So now we're going to move on to the third spot. Now you're going to want to sit right in the back going towards that same general area. But you're going to want to sit further back in this position right here. And you're going to pick up the nice little headshot. Now this one's a little bit difficult just because it is hard to see the enemy. And you'll kind of see here in the in-action version of it. Um, I do kind of jump a little bit and that's what makes this one a little bit harder you can jump shot to get the shot but like I said it's just hard because you don't have very much of the enemy to see you just have the small little you know head that you have to kind of shoot at but as you see I had a hit marker in the first one and then I picked up the kill and this third one or this fourth one I have not for unfortunately hit it online because it's very difficult but it's a nice little jump shot and you're gonna get that guy on the staircase it's all about kind of timing and luck of the enemies being there but moving on to the attacking side again there are four sides and the easier one is near the the normal kind of head glitch that everybody kind of goes to but you wanna sit a little bit further back than normal so I'll show that to you guys right now So you'll see I'm running here straight off of the spawn and you want to sit further back than normal just because if you're up closer you know you give your uh, yourself a chance to get hit by a grenade or something like that but moving on to the second one you're gonna go want to go off a wall run right here and this kind of serves as two spots so if you jump up here you can get someone in a big window but usually there aren't very many enemies in there on surge and destroy so much anymore usually towards the beginning of the game there was and then the second one you can kind of peek through and get the head glitch right there right in between the sign and that piece of wood and also you can watch the uh, pickup truck there so now we're gonna move on to spot number three which is personally my favorite you're gonna move off to the right side towards the rocks and you can barely see the enemy from this spot and they can kind of barely see you but it's perfect and this is the other point of view of the enemy see how they can just you can just see the name that's all you can pretty much make out and it's an absolutely really really good spot to get people in here is an in-action version I was just kind of waiting um, again you kinda have to you know trial and error and wait you're not gonna get these kills every single time you go and start off the round so I was you know t testing it out a bit it didn't take um, too long you know it maybe took a game or two to, to hit this shot uh, people seem to come through this spot quite frequently it's just a matter of timing and being able to catch your enemy in time for that shot but yeah now we're gonna move on to the final spot which I think is probably one of the harder ones you're gonna wanna line up with that little banner right there and you're gonna go for the jump shot there and this one is again a very difficult shot to hit unfortunately I have not been able to hit it online but definitely a viable shot and it is possible as long as someone's in that big window and it all comes down to kind of timing so that is pretty much it for this video you guys I hope you did enjoy the very first episode of my spawn snipe series and I didn't really want to include you know 
sniping spots that were just kind of the obvious ones that's why the very first one was just kind of an extra one that most of you already know about I wanted to make it like actual useful places that you know you guys might not know about but it is the very first episode so it's something that I will definitely improve on and get, it will get better over time and we'll find some really cool spots and you know tips and places that you guys can use in game so um, that is pretty much it and uh, leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy this video and the series that's gonna be kind of my little side note to whether or not I should continue the series if you guys like it enough for me to keep going but um, that's it and if you haven't already please subscribe as usual you guys have a good one peace